We give the glory to the almighty God. This is another day, beloved. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we thank you for another day like this. It is by your power, by your might, and by your authority that we are still alive. Ancient of days, you control life. It is you alone that have life. May your name be exalted for giving us another day. We thank you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Beloved, I welcome the listeners of Prophet Kanawu. May you all be blessed this morning as our God is alive and may God strengthen you so that every day you will listen to the end time prophet. May you all be blessed in Jesus name, amen. Beloved, the title of my message is the restoration of the dry bones by God. Beloved, it is only God that can restore any deadly thing. He is in control of our life. So without wasting time, let us turn our Bible into Ezekiel 37. And the verse is one up to eight. And I read, the hand, this is the word of God by prophet Ezekiel. The hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me out into the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley and it was full of bones. Two, then he caused me to pass by them all around and behold, there were very many in the open valley and indeed they were very dry, three. He said unto me, son of man, can this bone live? So I answered, O oh Lord God, you know. For again, he said to me, prophesy to these bones and say to them, O oh dry bones, hear the word of God, hear the word of the Lord. That say the Lord God to those bones, surely I will cause breath to enter you, and you shall live. I will put sinews on you and bring fresh upon you, cover you with the skin and put breath in you, and you shall live. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. Hallelujah. Seven, so I prophesy as I was commanded and I prophesy there was a noise and suddenly a rafting and the bones came together, bone to bone, eight indeed. As I look, the snow and the flesh came upon them and the skin covered them but there was no bread in them. Amen. Beloved, this is God Almighty, the one who knows you and I. The hand of the Lord, number one, it came upon me. This is the prophet. So here let us know the end time prophet, the one that are called by God, the spirit of the Lord are upon them because it is God who has ordained them. In other words, I will transfer this. I will say this in our language. Senyami frewo bia, nenyami dinu ye juma, Nyame insa ewonu so. Ewe ye mremu. 
Onyame won a G4. But how are we going to see the genuine men of God, like as Ezekiel was called by God? So, beloved, God called Ezekiel concerning the dry bone. And the bones were dry. That's why God asked the prophet, son of man, can this bone live? It's a question mark. Beloved, we can live by God only. Only the breath of God can let us live. Without the breath of God, we cannot make it, even in seconds. Senyame, who mean to mua, onuya, wunche, miti numumpo. So the bones were dry. And that's why God asked him, son of man, can this bone live? So I answered, oh God, you know. God knows you, God knows me. It is by his power because he control life. Because all things belong to him. Everything on this planet, it belongs to God Almighty. His sovereignty is forever and forever. So beloved, he asks his genuine prophet, Hezekiel, that can these bones live? God knows you, God knows me. If we can live today, it is by his power. It is by his might. It is by his alone, because he has life, and he control life. So tonight, he is asking us, if we can live, it is through him. We cannot make it without Christ. Again, he said, prophesy. The real genuine men of God, God let them prophesy. And what prophecy they prophesy or what prophecy that comes from genuine men of God, they are real. For instance, like Prophet Kanawu, anything, any prophecy he gives is surely come to pass. These are the genuine men of God and time. But how many are they? There are so many prophets, but are they genuine like Ezekiel, as God commanded him? And God let the dry bones be alive. Five, thy say the Lord, God, to these bones. Onyame, God take his genuine people to do the work of God. So God is a faithful God. Dry bones, they became alive. So beloved, if we have God, we have everything. It is the sin in our heart that separate us. As God doesn't want sin. So beloved, let us live for God. Our life should be in a good standing with God. We cannot, this flesh will die, but what about the spirit in us? So beloved, this is end time. Let us be aware that reading Ezekiel 37, let us know the dry bones that were many in the valley, God Almighty, the King of Kings, the everlasting God restored it and they came alive. 
So beloved, a genuine man of God, whatever they say, through God, it surely come to pass. He commanded his servant. So any good servant of the Lord, any genuine prophet of the Lord, whatever they say, it will surely come to pass. Let us know that. Hallelujah. I want to sing a song in our language, which is the Ghana language of Chi. And my song goes like this. Pawadesua. Pawadesua. Pawadesua brayesua. Obeyama wo. Pawadesua. Pawadesua. Pawadesua brayesua. Obesia wo. Pawadesua. Pawadesua. Power this one, bra yesu o. Obesu e wo. Power this one. Power this one o. Power this one, bra yesu o. Beloved, this is the sun. Any burden, it is only God Almighty, our Lord Jesus Christ, will take it away from you. So, beloved, let us be aware. If God Almighty, through his servant, through his prophet, let him prophesy on the dry bone, this is end time. So there are genuine prophets that God has ordained, that God is using. Let us be aware. So that the dry bones with God use his servant, for let it be alive, it's still working. God is in control. So beloved, let us be aware. The breath of us, you and I, it belongs to God. When it's taken within few seconds, we are dead and gone. We can never be alive without bread. So the dry bones, there was no bread. And when you continue on night, God Almighty, let the prophet Ezekiel prophesy. And there became a bread on the, on the dry bones. So beloved, let us serve God. Let us know the ancient of days. Let us know him in sincerely and in truth. And as I am about to bring the message to the end, beloved, we serve a mighty God. Because everything he has given to us, he is a supplier and a planter. And he has given us everything in abundance. We breathe freely. We have to appreciate him by serving him alone in, with a sincere heart. May God Almighty bless his prophets and also the listeners that avail themselves to listen or to come to pillar of Christ, to listen to the message, may you all be blessed. We thank God for a day like this. It is only him who can restore any deadly thing to let it come back to our life. May God Almighty bless his message in the mighty name of Jesus. We give him all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen.